All right, so this man, TBD, five straight games of more than 300 yards, five straight games, I think of more than three touchdowns. Got a question for y'all. Let me know in the comment section below. Is TBD the best quarterback we've had since Ken Dorsey? Mm -hmm. Like, we have been saying maybe it could have been Joey Harris, with Stephen Morris, maybe it could have been, uh, we have been saying that it was actually um, De'Aaron King. But TBD has, has took Miami by storm. He's a freshman, freshman, red shirt, freshman, COVID, whatever. But is he the best quarterback we've seen since, since Ken Dorsey? Let us know in the comment section below. Shout out to TVD, man. Shout out to Rambo. Shout out to the Canes. Let's get this thing together, man. We out. Welcome to South Florida, the bottom of the clip of the gunshine state. Ha. What them boys still boring in that way? Big plate, get it for the 18 if you straight. Get K and stop hating, it's the model of the state. Ha. A lot of face, but it's still real around here. That foreign talk, that can get you. Alright, man, we back. Crib talk, Caneville. It's my birthday. It's my birthday figure. Listen, man, I figure I'd come out here and look like Brian Gumble or somebody on y'all. I figure I'd come out here. And, 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 and dress up a little bit and, and kind of look profess, professional. Let's talk about let's talk about the professional thing, like like real fast. What we call professional now in the comment section, correct me if I'm wrong. What we call professional, right? It's only the standard that we've seen. We've always looked at the news on TV, Channel Seven, CNN, WSB. And we've always looked up at those people and they were gatekeepers. Um, I've known some really, really talented uh, um, kids or, 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 or college kids or kids who just graduated college that wanted to get into that business. And to actually get on TV to be a news broadcaster, it's like, like bro, listen, it's hard to do. Um, but they were the gatekeepers. Um, they own everything, so they set the standard. So anytime we see anybody doing anything different, it doesn't have as much credibility, it looks different, uh, because it doesn't look like that. It doesn't look like this, minus the hat. It don't look like this, you know what I'm saying? It don't look like this. It don't look like this. Hi, my name is Daryl Street. It don't look like that, you know what I'm saying? But if you never owned anything, and you've never had a chance to tell your narrative, to tell your story, like, how could it, how could you change anything? Um, I think platforms are giving people a chance to give their own voice. Even sometimes it's without a voice. It's just action on a platform, you can see it. And now things are starting to look different. Everything with a suit and a tie isn't the epitome of credibility. That's all I'm trying to say. It's just what we have seen because we did not have a choice to change it. Shout out to Miami Central. Um, Zane Louise, Joshua Trader, these young kids, uh, sophomore, junior, man, uh, went off the other night in a game where they were down 21, like 21 to 6. Uh, Mary Harris jumped down on them. Um, Central started making some mistakes. And then Mary Harris started giving the game back. 21 20 game at halftime. And then I think the I think the depth of Central, I think uh, I think the depth of Central, Central having two quarterbacks, uh, Central. To just being a more a more talented team, a more or I can't say more prepared team. Just being the more talented team took its toll um, in the second half, and they actually pulled off. Dawson Central was maybe 14 points better than American Heritage without their quarterback, um, and they just pulled off in the end and made it look as if if it made it look as if it was worse than it really was because the American Heritage was up first quarter of the game, 21 to six. Um, Wesley Bassaint. I think Wesley Bassaint came into that game with one, with, with, with one, with one goal, and that was to hit Mark Fletcher. And there was some collisions in that, some some collisions in that game. As you see, we'll put the highlights. We had the highlights out. We'll put them up on Facebook. There were some collisions in that epic collisions in that game. Um, 
and, and not not just Wesley, but, but 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 talking about Wesley, but saying between Wesley and Mark, the one with his helmet came off. That's on Instagram, Football Field Instagram. Um, but I, I think that was that was the that 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 was his his that was he was told this is your assignment. We are gonna hit Mark Fletcher tonight, and Mark Fletcher was running that rock. Uh, people on the sideline were very impressed with Mark Fletcher. Uh, a lot of people say remind me of Derrick Henry. Um, but we don't know. Derrick Henry played in Yulee, Florida somewhere. It's a different beast down here in South Florida. Uh, so, so Wesley was saying that night, I, I think, with everybody in the house, all the media in the house, everybody on the sideline, Willis McGahey, Larry Bluestein, Kenny Phillips, everybody on the sideline, uh, he, he, he stood up and and he did his thing. Um, I think he was at the game, University of Miami game yesterday too. Also one of the kids at the game, at the University of Miami game. Uh, listen, next. Next I'm gonna talk to y'all about the hoodies. I've been getting a lot of phone calls and texts. Hey man, um, well, I wanna get a hoodie. Where'd I get the hoodie from? If, if you're looking at this on YouTube, which you probably aren't looking at it on YouTube, if you get out of the full screen and you get to the screen where you could share and comment, Scroll down a little bit. All the, the hoodies and everything is down there. If you ever wanted to buy a hoodie or a t-shirt, um, everything is down there except the, the rooster shirt. But uh, it's been down there. It's been, that was the original place where you can get the actual uh, apparel from. So if you're on YouTube, come on, let's do this, let's do this one time. We're on YouTube. Get out, go to the small screen. Get out full screen, scroll down a little bit. And you'll see down there, if you click on apparel, you can go get a hoodie or go get um, something. T-shirt or whatever it is you were asking for. I think they have sizes all the way up to two X's, something like that. Second, shout out to Synergy Sweets, man. Synergy Sweets, uh, big weekend for her. She wants Tampa Dessert Wars. I think the video will come out on the Food Network. Um, big time stuff for her. I told y'all, we're not going to... We're, we're, we're not going to, this is a partner's giving money, right? We're not going to partner with anybody. We're not going to we're going to take, <laughs> take money from anybody we don't believe in. Edge will be in our future as a big, as a big time business. Synergy Suites will be in our future. She's going to grow the thing and it's going to be big time. She won, I forget how many uh, other bakers were there, but she won uh, Dessert Wars in Tampa yesterday. First place. And I heard she should have won first place. From the judges and first place from the from from the I guess they had like a people's choice, but they said they never give out first place two times so <laughs> to, to to the same person so they didn't give it to her. So shout out to Synergy Sweets man, uh, and shout out to Edge, best tasting energy drink in the world. Let us know in the comment section below if you got your Edge delivered to you. Let us know in the comment section below what it tastes like. If you didn't drink it cold, don't come in here. <laughs> Let us know in the comment section below what it tastes like. Uh, Cause we know it's the best tasting energy drink in the world. University of Miami jumps on Virginia Tech yesterday. Virginia Tech fired their coach earlier that week. Um, X had a real problem with Manny saying that they were a well-coached team. <laughs> that they were a well-coached team to the media, and that kind of bothered X. But I was just like, X man, listen, man, that's just talk. That's just uh, that's just that's just coach talk. I mean, he's coming to the podium and he's saying stuff that coaches say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he wasn't thinking about the fact that they coached guests got fired. You know what I'm saying? He's just talking. He's he's just talking. Miami jumps out on Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech comes back, kick a field goal. Um, <clears throat> Tyler Van Dyke on fire once again in the rain. Uh, I got a question for you. I saw somebody in our post game press conference say Tyler Van Dyke is the best quarterback we've had since Ken Dorsey. Is this true? Let me know in the comment section below. Who's the best quarterback we've had since Ken Dorsey? Because it could have been Corey Harris, Stephen Morris. Lately, we have been saying King was the best quarterback we had since his. You're trying to tell me King Rain was a, a season and a half? Who? <laughs> the best quarterback we've had since Ken Dorsey. Let us know in the comment section below um, who's the best quarterback we've had since Ken Dorsey. 
Uh, listen, y'all stay locked in with us, man. Like, share, comment. We're going to be right back. This thing is fire, man. Check it out. But you can only get it. You can only get it from liquorsplit.com. Um, check the link in the description, man. Edge Energy Drink, my dog. Yeah, so yesterday, another huge day from TBD. And um, on TBD, we're talking about TBD and how he's one of the quarterbacks who's thrown for 300 yards, I think like three games in a row. But um, he actually went five games in a row. But I think the stat that they were saying was that hadn't happened, I think, in the ACC. Um, only maybe one or two quarterbacks that did it. But actually, TBD five, TBD five games, he's thrown for 300 three times, then last, then 400, then 300 the games, 357, three touchdowns, 316, four touchdowns, 389, three touchdowns, 426, three touchdowns, 325, four touchdowns. And that's like right out of the gate. Um, it considered him, I guess he would be considered a sophomore, freshman. Um, he was here last year. We seen him. I saw him on my own night. He was here. But I guess they called him a freshman. <laughs> they called him a freshman. But I know for a fact he was here taking snaps. I seen him. But um, they, they called him a freshman. I guess on paper he's a freshman. I guess he could stay here for another four, three years. So I guess he's a freshman. But no, man. On fire. He's the only ACC quarterback in the last 15 seasons with five straight 300 passing yards and three passing touchdowns in the game. Um... And that's awesome. I don't know if you get a testament to Lashley. I don't know if you get a testament to TBD. Uh, but he's going to get the credit for it, and he, he's going to cash in on it in the end. Um, so let us know that, man, in the comment section. Uh, yesterday we got to see 15 and 24 in the backfield uh, for, as DBs. No James Williams, as we reported. James Williams did not play. Um, a lot of physicality, a lot of hitting going on back there. Um, Wante is a heat-seeking missile, missile. Uh, um, another thing, led the team in rushing. I don't know how much credit we can, credibility we can give to this, but that led the team in rushing <laughs> with nine carries and 36 yards. But I, I, I know if they start to feed that the ball, he's going to do his thing. Um, not sure what has happened to the rushing game in the last few, last few games. Kind of, kind of tailed off a little bit. I don't know. I don't know what teams are doing to us, or maybe it's just lasting his one rushing play. And, and shout out to Rashad, man. Uh, right before that play happened, man, I'm looking at Larry Bruce, and I'm like, hey, man, look, they got Rashad in the backfield, and they sent him right out the backfield on a. I don't know if it, if he go for a, a bomb, is it still a wheel route? Yeah. <laughs> right out the backfield on a wheel route, and he just run past everybody, and we asking ourselves like, why hasn't we been doing this? I asked TBD in the press conference, hey, listen, man, have y'all been practicing that play? And he said he'd been practicing since North Carolina. Basically, he said, like, we've been had it. We've been had it. We just decided to run it. Um, and it worked perfect. So, man, listen, man, y'all make sure y'all like, share, comment. Members, go to the community section. Come be a part of the group me. I'm D Crib Talk. We out. Hey,